Superman's one of the most powerful characters in DC Comics comic world. He was the representative of an American comic book era in the years after World War II. Superman's influence at the time was indisputable. However, when the era changed and the boundary between good and evil no longer became clear, Superman's influence was no longer the same. But it was also from him that a series of latest superheroes were inspired. In today's video, we will learn about Superman's superhero, possessing divine power, and a forgotten era. Record Numbers In 1933, at the age of 14, Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster created Superman and named Kal El in Hebrew, roughly translated as God's voice, in a short story called The Reign of the Superman. This short story was published in a science fiction magazine. However, in its debut, success has not come to this superhero. It took five years until National Allied Publications, later DC Comics, wanted to find a new character for the next series of the studio to be lucky to smile at Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster. Unlike many other publishers, DC's distinct minds are looking for the characters they have been waiting for in stories that were rejected from earlier publication. Finally, the image of a Superman with a muscular, handsome body and a red cape and the S symbol in front of his chest was chosen. After the research, editing and elaboration, the first episode of Superman was released in Action Comics 1, June 1938, with a total of 200,000 copies and was quickly sold out. Just a month later, National Allied Publications officially announced the record revenue of the Superman comic book series of $1 million. Later it became an American icon and became widely loved. Immortalized through the ages, The comic series read on television The Adventures of Superman was first broadcast in 1940 and lasted until 1951. One year later, in 1941 began to appear short cartoon genre about the hero Superman by the firm. Production Studio Fleischer. During this period, Superman represented American patriotism and spiritual strength because this period was taking place during World War II. Later, the story of Superman becomes more science fiction. His power becomes more sublime when received from the golden sun of the earth, not only from the red sun in his homeland. In 1979, the first episode of the series of four Superman films starring superstar Christopher Reeve was released. The film also starring Marlon Brodo as the father of superheroes. Christopher Reeve has become the most attractive Superman compared to the actors who represented the character Clark Kent before. Reeves' Superman costume has also been designed with many changes, with the material and style of the costume more closely, which makes Reeves' Superman look more attractive and masculine than ever. In 1992, in a controversial development, DC Comics let Superman be killed in battle. But no matter how many characters are thought to be Superman's birth, all of them do not replace the image that is too big that Superman has created before. And so, Superman was revived, and a series of new stories began. From the late 20th century to the present, many animated series, movies and TV shows about Superman were released. Among them are the popular Smallville TV series, from 2001. With Tom Welling as Clark Kent, this actor has successfully completed the role of Clark Kent with the most simple and rustic, making him become the friendliest Superman in history. In 2006, actor Brandon Ralph played the Steel Man in the blockbuster Superman Returns directed by Brian Singer. After the movie premiered, he was considered the most handsome superhero among the male actors to have shown Superman before. His acting skills and good-looking appearance have earned Brandon Ralph many praises in the newspapers, including magazines such as Time, Time Out, New York Times, or Variety. Electronic Hollywood newspaper The Hollywood Reporter commented, that Brandon Routh's acting has depth and that has transformed Superman from a steel man to a man with a heart. The most recent Clark Kent was played by English actor Henry Cavill in Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. In him, viewers easily recognize the athletic, seductive and extremely strong appearance of a superhero. Moreover, the role of Superman in Man of Steel this time focuses on the inner exploitation of the character. 
With torments and inner struggles, when fighting between protecting the Earth, the place he wandered from as a child or headed to his homeland, the planet Krypton where he was born. Questions about Clark Kent's origins, such as where he was born and what ethnicity made Cavill's Superman come to life. Childhood likes to be a hero. Superman's the only survivor of the planet Krypton. His father, Jor-El, who discovered a destructive nuclear reaction that could blow away the rest of the world, is underway in Krypton. From there Jor-El sent him to Earth on a spacecraft before the planet Krypton was destroyed. On Earth, Kal-El was adopted by a couple of farmers, Jonathan and Martha Kent in the small world town of Kansas, and named him Clark Kent. After that, Clark Kent gradually grew up and began to reveal his extraordinary abilities. Using superpowers to serve justice according to the wishes of his parents, Clark gradually became the guardian of the Smallville town. After his adoptive father passed away, Clark moved to Metropolis and worked as a reporter at the Daily Planet newspaper. Just like at Smallville, Clark Kent became the guardian of Metropolis's justice as Superman. Superman always has a way to hide his identity. He often wears glasses and changes clothes to disguise. With his head down, his hands in his pockets, Kent could combine that with his loose clothes to hide his muscular physique at normal times. Besides, personality is also a trait that makes people never think that Superman and Clark Kent are one. If Clark Kent's naive, awkward and shy, Superman's brave, bold and ready to take on any challenge. Who would have thought that those two hungry people were the same person? At the Daily Planet newsroom, he met his love, Lois Lane. In addition, the Superman also meets an archenemy, Lex Luthor, a progressive villain in DC Comics superhero comics. Both a reporter and a superhero who protects justice with superhuman strength. Superman later joined the Justice League to join other superheroes like Batman, The Flash, Wonder Woman to fight against the evil. Divine Power Considered the strongest character in the world of DC Comics, Superman has always been considered the true god. If there is no green stone in hand, no one can be a rival of Superman, with the skill set and the strongest power in the comics. For Superman the terrible heat is nothing. In the story of DC Comics, DC 1 million, Superman must live in exile and spend 15,000 years inside the Sunday when he got out. He truly became a god, able to change reality achieve immortality, and do whatever he wanted. After the iconic crisis on Infinite Earths in 1985, one of DC's main goals was to rebuild the incompetent Man of Steel image. When you can no longer sneeze, blow a galaxy or pull planets out of their orbit, Superman will be limited in ability to make the story more dramatic. Even if his powers were more limited than before, his core strength remained the same. Superman still has super strength, super speed, super durability, intelligence and most importantly, the ability to see heat. At one point, Superman used his thermal vision to adjust the planet's temperature. His thermal vision is faster than any other possibility. This helps Superman not only absorb solar energy, but also use his eyes to shoot the energy out. This is indeed a very powerful weapon. In the comics, but in the movie Superman's power is reduced even more to avoid the irrational factor for the audience. Referring to the Steel Man refers to the magnificence when the power of Superman is shown. Just by using his internal force to fly, he could make a noise that shook the whole ground. Even before turning into Superman, he could lift the oil rig weighing thousands of tons by himself to save people. You are watching videos on LMT channel. Don't forget to visit the group's new channel which synthesizes videos about the royal family. Details see below the comment section. The Dark Side of Superman It seems that Superman's strength is unbeatable, nothing can harm him. But Superman is not perfect, and our Superman is also very human. He has emotions, certain weaknesses, and there are dark sides within himself. In Action Comics 2, there was a time when Superman destroyed all the cars he saw on the road, threatening the mayor. 
just because angry by a close friend of his accidentally a driver accidentally carelessly hit. In this episode, Superman really frightens people with his unjust act of revenge, and besides, worsens the good superhero image. In fact, this is one of the early comic books, so Superman's still very violent, until later he was built as a hero to save the world. Although life expectancy is terrible, but Superman's not immortal, and can be hurt by magic. In addition, kryptonite crystals are extremely toxic to the Krypton human body. It's a fatal weakness of Superman. Kryptonite's almost the only material that pierces Superman's body. There are eight types of kryptonite discovered. Green, red, black, blue, X, pink, yellow, and white. Superman has a stronger body than steel, but his mind isn't like that. Evidence is that more than five times he has been manipulated, and manipulated by the enemy to sabotage. Even Poison Ivy can do this in Batman Hush Episode 4. A Cultural Empire According to journalist Brad Rika, author of the book Superboys, about two authors, Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster, the Superman has many different characteristics is just a coincidence, not intentional when the artist created him. Basically, Superman's a patchwork product. Brad Rika said, In him there is a bit of Tarzan, a little of the circus artist, a little of the athlete. Artists also included other elements that appeared in popular culture at that time. Rico said even the name Superman's borrowed. When it was originally the word used to describe the late US President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Apart from this factor, Superman actually has a lot of similarities with the readers at the time. He was an immigrant, and an orphan, having strength and intelligence in his hands. He's both shy, and always feels insecure. It isn't uncommon for Superman to attract readers, during the Great Depression in the US, when people felt weak helpless, and exploited. In the end, the element of hiding identity and living a secret life, under the innocent, Clark Kent shell, seems to be the key to Superman becoming famous. After the birth of Superman has quickly been popular, and became the foundation for many other superheroes to appear. Superman quickly becomes a golden cow for people to milk. A series of TV series about Superman was born. In the 1960s, Superman also appeared on the Broadway musical stage, in many animated films, and of course feature films. Superman's Outdated In the world of cinema, superheroes are surpassed by their own superheroes, both in box office sales and audience favorite. TV shows of recent superheroes, rarely appreciated, and have been discontinued. The selfless image of Superman is considered obsolete. In a new age when the Dark Knights and mutants or superheroes are increasingly fond of the characteristics of a bad boy. Gerald Padier, a professor of American culture studies at Lawrence University, in Wisconsin, said, when the bad gets more complex, Superman will immediately have a problem. In other words, he is too clear between the two colors of black and white, in an environment with moral values that have changed to gray mixed meaning of black and white. However, Superman doesn't die but still exists, because of his good image. Readers buy Superman not because this is a comic book, but because they like to imagine, and they like the main character in the story. Nowadays, even when comic book sales have decreased, Superman still doesn't die completely in the hearts of modern readers. Children are still wearing Superman, like robes and adults prefer to wear a shirt with the famous S-shaped symbol, and Superman still has the potential to bring tons of money on the market. Especially for those who still have the first comic book series to publish, according to comic sales expert David Tosh, Action Comics 1, is still considered a holy grail in the comic village. When one of these books hit the $2 million mark in 2011, maybe Superman's no longer a fashionable, maybe this character's under intense competition. But after three quarters of a century has passed, since the day Superman was created, the influence and impact that this character brings still stand before the flow of time. A professor of culture at DePaul University said, Thank you for watching the video on LMT channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and watch more new videos to support the group. Don't stop.